Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Well today I'm going to be building a shelf for this area of our van right here. Uh, we've had just a couple little hooks here before but my wife said why don't you build a nice little shelf to fit in this section. So I'm going to be doing that today and I'll bring you through all the steps. So let's go down to the workshop and get started. Well it's still uh, winter here in Connecticut so I just lit the wood stove in the shop. So let me show you what I use to build these shelves. Now throughout my van build, I use Baltic birch plywood for all the cabinets. Uh, some people call it Russian birch. You cannot buy it at Home Depot or Lowe's, but ask any lumber company for it. If they don't have it in stock, they can usually order for you. And the main difference is the number of laminations in the plywood. Here, let's take a look. This is a piece of three quarter inch birch plywood that I purchased from Home Depot. And as you can see, there are five plies plus a very thin veneer of birch on the top and the bottom. Now let me show you what the Baltic birch plywood laminations look like. So as you can see there's a lot more plies in the Baltic birch plywood. Makes it a nicer finish for the cabinets. And a lot of times you just have to sand and varnish the edges because the very thin plies gives a nice decorative look. Well, let's uh, go into the van and take some measurements for the shelf. Okay, so uh, we're going to measure length, and we're looking at 25 and 3 quarter inches long. Okay, and for the depth, um, I think I'll go with 14 inches. I'm sorry, I mean 14 inches for the height of the shelf, and then... So we have a length of 25 and 3 quarters, a uh, height of 14 inches, and a depth of 8 inches. Now the plywood I'm using, the Baltic birch uh, right here, this is uh, 10 millimeters thick, which is just a little bit over 3 eighths. Okay, we'll set the fence to 8 inches. So these pieces of wood will make the bottom of the shelves and the sides of the shelf. So next I have to get this angle right here since this uh, wall kind of angles in. Push that in. Okay, so we have that angle. Now we need to get the top angle for the shelf. And we'll mark a line. So this is the uh, cardboard template for the uh, side of the shelf. We'll go in and do a test fit. Okay, that, uh, that works with all the angles. And we're parallel to the bottom of this cabinet's edge. So this so will have two of these, one on each side. Okay, next up. We will trace the pattern onto the side of the wood. So I have the two sides cut out in the top and bottom shelf. They look like. 
Okay, so those are the two sides. And we have the bottom shelf and the upper shelf. Uh, next, I'm going to be getting some thin strips of wood, cutting these to length. These will be going on the front of the shelf. Okay, these are the, uh, the two front rails that go on the front of the shelves to keep uh, whatever's on the shelf from sliding off. So what I'll do now is I'll take the sideboards, I'm going to notch them, and these will fit right into the notches. both of these boards on the table saw. I'll do them both at once so the notches are in the right location. So I have the pieces of shelf cut out. Next step, I will cut a dado to hold the top shelf. Next, I'm going to add a design to the end of the cabinet. So uh, I just finished installing the sides on the shelf and the two front rails. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, the decorations on the side is done. So I have the two, two front rails on. And the next step now is to be installed the, uh, the upper shelf on the unit. Well, I'm just about done with the shelf. The last step now is to install some of the shock cord. The shock cord helps keep the contents of the shelf from flying off the shelves or on the road. So let's get started. The uh, shock cords installed. Now the last step is just to install it into the van.
Well, the shelving unit is now installed. And the last thing I'm going to do is right underneath there, I am going to put uh, just a decorative strip of molding. Well, this is the uh, molding I'll be using to go underneath the shelf. Just pick this up from Lowe's. The only thing I'll do to it is I'll go over the uh, the design with a wood burning pen. Just to make that stand out a little more. Once again, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.